Good morning, y'all. We are going to go ahead and we're going to make some hot rolls. So in my mixer, which you do not have to do this in a mixer if you don't want to, you can do it all by hand. Um, I have a third cup of sugar and we're going to add one and a half teaspoons of yeast or you can just use one um, packet of yeast will be fine. And then we're going to add a half a cup of warm water. And we're going to just turn this on a second just to mix it up. And we're going to let this sit for five minutes. All right, y'all. So why this is still proofing, I have a third of a cup of butter. And I have one and a half cups of milk I'm putting in a dish. And I'm going to put this in the microwave to get this warm and the butter to melt. Alright y'all, so while we're waiting for my milk to heat up and the butter to melt, we are going to add two eggs that I've beaten, and then we are going to add two and a half teaspoons of salt, There's one teaspoon, one teaspoon, two teaspoons, and then here's the half, and we're going to go ahead and just give this another little mix together. Alright y'all, so I have one and a half cups of whole warm milk and a third cup of melted butter in here. And we're going to go ahead and we're going to put this in here and go ahead and stir this around. Alright y'all, so now we're going to start out with two cups of flour. And we're going to go ahead and stir this in here. Alright, so we're going to go ahead and we're going to add two more cups of flour and stir this around. So the dough is still kind of sticky, so we're going to add a little bit more flour. And we're going to, this is a one cup measure, we're going to do half of it. And we're going to stir that around. A little tacky, we're going to um, use the the rest of this half a cup. So total right now we're at five cups. All right, y'all. So five cups is plenty. So we're gonna go ahead and let this work around for about three to five minutes. Right, y'all. So now, if you think that we've made this before and sometimes you need to add a little more flour, you know, do so. Um, depending on the day and stuff like that, sometimes you may use a little bit more. Sometimes you may not. So um, you want it semi-tacky because you're going to add flour in it once you put it out. And um, so what we're going to do is we are going to put this in a warm place and cover it. And we are going to let this rise for about an hour. So we'll see you back here in an hour. All right, y'all. So our dough has frozen. So we're going to go ahead and punch it down. Okay. Now what we're going to do is we're going to flip this out on some flour. Okay. And we're going to flatten this out a little bit and we're going to make some biscuits out, kind of like a biscuit. We're going to do it that way. Or you can pinch them off, which is easy as well. And um, we're going to let them rise again. All right, y'all. So you want to just make sure you got enough flour on your board because the dough, like, it's going to be a little bit tacky. So if you want to pinch them, you're just going to grab some and you're kind of form it as a ball. And then you just want to go ahead and pinch them off like that. Okay, or you can just take it like a biscuit and you're going to take um, some of the dough. Okay, and you're going to pat it down until everything's really smooth. And then you just take a cup and go ahead and twist it as you would a biscuit. But I think we're going to go ahead and pinch them off. I'm going to go ahead and spray some kind of a dish and then you're going to go ahead and try to make your biscuits all the same size and you're going to lay them in there and so you want to go ahead and get yourself a smooth surface go ahead and put it between your fingers and go ahead and pinch it off and go ahead and put it in there so we're going to go ahead and I'm going to continue putting them in our pan Alright y'all, so I got my first tray done. I'm going to go ahead and set this to the side and we're going to let this rise. 
anywhere from 20 minutes to another hour. All right, y'all, so I went ahead and we let them rise for another hour. So we're gonna just take a little bit of butter and we're gonna brush them over the top. And we're gonna put these in the oven on 400 degrees for about 13 to 15 minutes. So I'll be back here in about 15 minutes. All right, y'all, while our oven is coming up to temperature, I wanna let everybody know we have family cookbooks still available for purchase. I'll put a link above and below in the comments. For those of you who want to purchase those 212 recipes we're getting down to the bare minimum so if you want to get yourself one before thanksgiving um i'm, I'm sorry not thanksgiving before christmas um they are there and i probably will not be reordering the first copy we'll wait for our second um volume to come out so if anybody has any questions about that just let me know so we're going to go ahead and pop these in the oven all right, y'all, mine took 13 minutes. So what you wanna do is take some more butter and brush them across the top. So I have natural gas, so you all may have to do yours. Um, like I said, start out at 10 minutes and work your way to about the 15 minute mark because everybody's ovens are a little different. So, but mine took exactly 13 minutes. So I'm going to pull one out here in a second to show you what it looks like. All right, y'all. Mm. I pulled it out, and it's really hot, mm. so I'm just going to break it open. See how light and fluffy they are inside? Mm. So if anybody has any questions, feel free to get in contact mm. with me. I'm going to pull this up so maybe you can see the inside. Mm. So I hope everybody has a great evening.